My name is Ryan, and I work in support here at New Relic. Today we'll be talking about muting rules in alerts. Now, muting rules basically suppress the notifications for your alert violations and incidents so that you don't get notified, specifically during maintenance windows or, or periods where you just don't want to be notified. In this case, we have a test here, which is a synthetic script. You can see that that is called test script, and I've got an alerts condition called muting synthetics fail. This is my muting rules test condition, part of the Ryan's test policy. We can see that in the Ryan's test policy. There are two conditions here, muting synthetics fails and a browser, uh, a browser condition here as well. So the idea here is that perhaps we're doing some maintenance on our website, and we don't expect the website to go down completely. We don't expect it to be uh, errorful, um, but we do expect our script to fail because we're changing some things. We're changing some CSS tags, perhaps. And so some of the targets that the synthetic script will be hitting will be different, and, and they may fail. And so we don't want to be notified by that because we expect it to happen. Um, and we're busy doing our maintenance on our website. We don't need to be notified by things that are going wrong when we expect it to go wrong. So we're going to set a muting rule only on that synthetics condition. I have that set up over here in the GraphQL Explorer. And you can see that I've got a rule on my account ID. And the muting rule is called synthetics mute rule. And I've added a description as well, but you can be more verbose in here as well. So we're looking at the condition name equals muting synth fail. So that's that same condition that we mentioned for synthetics. Right now, this is set to false, enabled equals false. So the muting rule is not on. If I go true and then run, now that muting rule is enabled, all violations from that specific condition will be muted. So if the browser condition triggers a violation, triggers an incident, I will be notified, but not by the synthetics condition. And we can see further in the GraphQL Explorer some details, and I can see OK, it was enabled at this time by this user ID. And here's some of the attributes that I've just configured for this muting rule. Let us know what you think of muting rules in the comments below. And feel free to check out the rest of the videos in this series.